We present Factor Fields, a novel framework for modeling and representing signals. Factor Fields decompose a signal into a product of factors, each represented by a classical or neural field representation which operates on transformed input coordinates. This demonstration results in a unified framework that accommodates several recent signal representations including NERF, Planoxels, EG3D, Instant NGP, Tensorf, and more. Our framework allows for the creation of powerful new signal representations, such as the dictionary field, which is a second contribution. Experimentally, our representation achieves better image approximation quality on 2D image regression tasks, higher geometric quality when reconstructing 3D signed distance fields, and higher compactness for radiance field reconstruction tasks. Additionally, our dictionary field enables generalization to unseen images 3D scenes by sharing bases across signals during training, which greatly benefits use cases such as image regression from sparse observations and few-shot radiance field reconstruction. We introduced TensorF a year ago, a technique for factorizing a neural radiance field using matrix decomposition. The fundamental concept behind the paper is that a three-dimensional matrix can be approximated by a small number of outer products involving one-dimensional vectors or vector matrix. We incorporated this concept into a stochastic optimization process, where the vectors and matrix are updated through volume rendering using backpropagation, achieving highly efficient and concise representation for 3D object reconstruction. We're now taking this technique to the next level by generalizing the matrix decomposition rule to a general factorization for neural representations. Let's start by summarizing the development of implicit representation. Seminal works such as OCNET, IMNET, and DeepSDF introduce the concept of representing surfaces implicitly. This is achieved either by modeling the surface as the continuous decision boundary of an MLP classifier or regressing a signed distance value. In each iteration, a set of positions sampled from the input domain is fed into the MLP network. The network nodes are then updated by minimizing the distance between predictions and the target signal. Through optimization, the signal information becomes embedded within the MLP layers. Consequently, any target signal point can be predicted by querying the corresponding coordinates to the MLP network. The continuous input space facilitates a continuous representation, enabling the extraction of 2D images or 3D meshes at any desired resolution. When expanding the representation to higher dimensional or more complex target signals, the existing approach falls short in modeling high frequency components. This limitation arises from the implicit smoothness bias inherent in MLPs. To address this challenge, the subsequent work NERF introduces a novel approach for representing a radiance field. NERF represents the field using an MLP and Fourier space, where the spatial coordinates are encoded with multi-level sinusoidal functions. By employing this multi-level representation, NERF successfully recovers high-frequency details that were previously unattainable. However, the pure MLP representation suffers from slow optimization speed primarily due to the high computational requirements of floating point operations involved in MLP access for each sample point. Recognizing this challenge, a subsequent line of research has emerged that relaxes the input domain from fixed sinusoidal functions to trainable grids. This relaxation allows for improved optimization speed and efficiency, which enables direct optimization with a shallow MLP network or even no neural network. As a result, it enables fast training and significantly enhances the model's capability. Concurrent work tensor factorizes the radiance fields into the products of vectors and matrices or multiple vectors, achieving efficient feature queries at a low memory footprint as we mentioned previously. Instant NGP exploits a multi-level hash grid to efficiently model internal features of target signals by hashing spatial locations to 1D feature vectors providing a super-fast convergency and robust reconstruction. These representations provide large progress towards efficient signal representation. What insights can we gather from this? The multiscale modeling can be observed in the NERF, where the former multiscale Fourier transformation achieves fast convergency. The learnable input domain allows for better representation power and the matrix decomposition able to provide high compactness without collision. 
In order to gain a better understanding of these representations, make comparisons across their design principles, and create powerful new representations, we introduce factor fields. Considering to represent a signal distributed in a 3D space. Various representations can be used to model a target signal. In particular, we consider polynomials, MLPs, 2D and 3D feature grids, and 1D feature vectors. Since the signal domain can be 1D, 2D, 3D, and 4D, and even higher, while the scene representation can also be at any dimension. The first question comes, how to bridge the scene coordinate and the field coordinate systems? The answer to this question is the coordinate transformation function. Given the position in the scene space and output the position in the field space, an identity function, gamma x equals x, is used for OCNET and other earlier work of implicit representations since the coordinate vary freely over the signal domain. The coordinate transformation gamma also allows for applying the same coordinate at multiple spatial scales of the signal by transforming the coordinates x with periodic transformations of different frequencies. This is crucial as signals typically carry both high and low frequencies. Instead, instant NGP use a multiscale hash mapping and Tensurf use an orthogonal coordinate transformation function. We have introduced the coordinate transformation functions and field representations. To further represent multidimensional signals, we introduce the projection function P that maps from the k-dimensional field outputs to the q-dimensional target signal. In particular, we consider MLPs and spherical harmonics. Furthermore, our framework decomposes a signal by factorizing it into multiple factor fields operating on suitably chosen coordinate transformations. As demonstrated previously, a feature matrix can be decomposed into the outer products of two factors, where factor 1 is represented by 2D dense grids incorporating an orthogonal coordinate transformation function, which projects the 3D scene coordinate into three 2D coordinates and factor 2 is composed of a set of 1D vectors associated with another orthogonal transformation from 3D to 1D. The factor features is connected via a Hadamard product. In factor fields, we represent each factor via one out of many different field representations, operating on different coordinate transformations. To allow for more than two factors, we generalize two factors to our full factor fields framework by replacing the factor 1 and factor 2 with set of n factors. Mathematically formally, the above unified pipeline can be formulated as a single equation of element-wise products of a sequence of factors. Note that in this general form, each factor fi is equipped with its own coordinate transformation yi that maps d-dimension scene coordinate to target field dimensions. Finally, the projection function p maps the Hadamard product to the q-dimensional signal domain. We now introduce a powerful new signal representations base on our previously introduced factor fields formulation. Have you noticed that our human have become accustomed to learning new things by searching for things they already know? Similarly, we present dictionary fields, which decompose a signal into a basis field and a coefficient field, by leveraging periodic coordinate transformations we can apply the same basis functions across various locations and scales. Through our experiments, we have observed that dictionary fields offer benefits such as improved approximation quality, compactness, faster training speed, and the ability to generalize to unseen images and 3D scenes. Inspired by the classical representation learning techniques, such as sparse coding and principal component analysis, we assume that signals are not random, but structured and hence share similar structures within the same signal as well as between different signals. In the following, we develop our dictionary fields model step by step, starting from a standard basis expansion. Let us first consider a 1D signal, Sx. We decompose S into a set of coefficients, C equals C1 to Ck and basis functions bx equals b1x to bkx, note that we denote s hat x as the approximation. However, representing the signal s hat x using a global set of basis functions is inefficient as information cannot be shared spatially. We assume that signals are not random, but structured and hence share similar signatures. Therefore, we propose to share the basis across regions. To do so, 
we transform the coordinates of the basis functions via a periodic, spatially varying coordinate transformation function gamma. Furthermore, we exploit a spatially varying coefficient field for stronger model capability. However, the linear representation significantly limits the model's capability and many signals have more than a single dimension. For example, 3 in the case of RGB images or 4 in the case of radiance fields. We further generalize our model to q-dimensional signals by introducing a projection function p and replacing the inner product with the element-wise Hadamard product denoted by circle symbol. We obtain the dictionary field as a special case of our factor fields framework by setting n equals 2, field representation as coefficient field and basis field, and use a identical coordinate transformation function for the coefficient and a sawtooth function for the basis. Recent advanced neural representations such as Nerf, Siren, Acorn, Planoxels, Instant NGP, and Tensorf optimize each signal separately, lacking the ability to model multiple signals jointly or learning useful priors from multiple signals. In contrast, our DIF representation not only enables accurate and efficient per-signal reconstruction, but it can also be applied to generalize across signals by simply sharing the basis field across the signal instances. Then the learned basis can be applied as the prior knowledge for representing new signals. We now present extensive evaluations of our dictionary field representation, including per-scene tasks and generalization tasks. In the first task, we directly regress RGB pixel colors from pixel coordinates and evaluate our DIF on fitting four complex high-resolution images. We also report a comparison to instant NGP in terms of optimization time and PSNR metrics at the bottom using the same number of model parameters. Compared to instant NGP, our model consistently achieves higher PSNR on all images when using the same model size, demonstrating the superior accuracy and efficiency of our model. Signed distance function, SDF, as a classic geometry representation, describes a set of continuous isosurfaces where a 3D surface is represented as the zero level set of the function. To allow for fair comparisons in terms of the training set and convergence, we use the same training points for all methods by pre-sampling 8 megabyte SDF points from the target meshes for training, with 80% points near the surface and the remaining 20% points uniformly distributed inside the unit volume. Our method leads to visually better results. It recovers high-frequency geometric details and contains less noise on smooth surfaces, for example, the elephant face. The high visual quality is also reflected by the highest GIOU and chamfer distance value of all methods. Here are more results. Radiance field reconstruction aims to recover the 3D density and radiance of each volume point from multi-view RGB images. Our method achieves high reconstruction quality, significantly outperforming NERF, Planexels, and DVGO on both datasets. While being significantly more compact than Planexels and DVGO, we also outperform Instant NGP and are on par with Tensurf regarding reconstruction quality while being highly compact with only 5.1 megaparameters, less than one third of Tensurf VM, and one half of Instant NGP. We now evaluate the benefits of basis sharing by conducting experiments on image inpainting from partial pixel observations and few shot radiance field reconstruction. Image inpainting focuses on the scenario where only part of the pixels are used during optimization. Without additional priors, a single signal optimization easily overfits in this setting due to the sparse observations and the limited inductive bias, hence failing to recover the unseen pixels. As expected, Instant NGP and other representations can accurately approximate the training pixels, but results in random noise in the untrained mask regions. Interestingly, even without pre-training and priors from other images, 
our DIF MLPB is able to capture structural information to some extent within the same image being optimized. As shown in the eye region, the model can learn the pupil shape from the right eye and regress the left eye, masked during training by reusing the learned structures and the shared basis functions. We further use our DIF model to learn data priors by pre-training it on 800 facial images from the FFHQ dataset. As shown on the right, our DIF MLPB with pre-trained prior clearly achieves the best reconstruction quality with better structures and boundary smoothness compared to the baselines, demonstrating that our factorized DIF model allows for learning and transferring useful prior information from the training set. The high-quality reconstruction and standard NERF highly rely on dense captured images and per-scene optimization. To address this issue, the prior work Pixel NERF and MVS NERF have made progress in generalizing the reconstruction process by incorporating information from neighboring views. Nonetheless, they're only able to reconstruct local radiance fields within a small region. Here, we consider three input views chosen in a quarter sphere with a large baseline coving the whole object which is highly challenging. We seek a novel solution that leverages data priors in pre-trained basis fields of our DIF model during the optimization task. Our pre-trained DIF representation with MLP basis provides strong regularization for few-shot reconstruction, resulting in fewer artifacts and better reconstruction quality than the single-scene optimization methods without data priors and previous few-shot reconstruction methods that also use pre-trained networks. Thanks for watching and welcome to our project page.